Hi, I'm Brian Grise with Edge Technologies. I'm going to show you today how to set front limit position or max pusher travel position and facing position or first insert position on an Edge bar feeder. Uh, we're going to start with, and today we have an Edge Minuteman 320, and I have this installed onto a Swiss lathe. This can be any edge bar feeder, and it can be on any lathe, whether it be Swiss or fixed headstock. The process is the same, with very minor differences with a sliding headstock uh, that I'll get into as we go forward. The main point is we want uh, we want the pusher to travel forward to the max limit um, on a sliding headstock or Swiss lathe. I want the uh, lathe headstock to be all the way at the forward travel position. So I'm going to Z forward until I reach the forward travel limit by watching the screen. I've got the Z positive over travel here on the screen for this leg. I'm going to clear that alarm. And then I'm going to jog my pusher forward into the main spindle of the leg. And effectively what I want to do is I want this pusher to travel all the way into the lathe until it runs out of potential travel. And I'll check that over here. Once I get it in the spindle close to where the, the limit will be, I'll manually jog this in and I'll feel for where it can no longer travel forward anymore. I'll feel when it hits the back of that collet. I can feel it right there. That's the limit, that's as far as it can travel. If it goes any further, it's pushing into the collet. So I'm gonna stop there, and I'm gonna go to the control panel, and I'm gonna look at the current pusher position, 152.14 in this case. I'm gonna round that down slightly. Typically, I'll round that down half an inch, roughly. I'd probably call this 151.5 and I'll set that value into the front limit or the max travel position on this bar feeder. And, and the parameter location will differ slightly um, based on the, the machine that we're working on, but that's how we calculate the value. Um, so that's our max limit travel or our front uh, pusher front limit, uh, sometimes referred to as end of bar. But end of bar is not actually a position. End of bar is a signal that we send based on the front limit position and the relationship of the part length. Um, but sometimes it's referred to as end of bar. Now to set the first insert position or facing position, that's going to be a measurement from the measuring flag and if you look inside of here, you can see the front bar measuring flag is right here on this machine. We're going to find that on your machine and take a measurement from that measuring flag extending to roughly in line with the cutoff tool in the lathe. Okay, the cutoff tool in this lathe is roughly right about here. So we're going to take a measurement from that measuring flag to that cutoff tool, and in this case, I've got a measurement of about 55 inches, okay? I'm gonna take that measurement of 55 inches, and I'm going to enter it into the control in, in the parameter for facing position or first insert position. Um, and that value is going to be a pretty rough estimate. Uh, generally, what I'll do is I'll rough it in, and then I'll actually load a bar and see where the bar positions relative to the cutoff tool, um, and then make a slight adjustment, slight modification as necessary. The only major exception to that is on a Swiss, uh, Swiss style machine with guide bushing installed, we don't want to feed the bar on bar load through the guide bushing. So I want the bar to stop behind the guide bushing, and then the main spindle to close the main collet and jog the bar under the main spindle power through the guide bushing to reach the cutoff tool. So as a general rule, I'll stop that first insert roughly three inches 
shorter behind the cutoff tool on a Swiss machine with a guide bushing. Um, with that, with that being said, that's how we calculate those two positions. Hopefully, it takes some of the mystery out of, out of it for us and be able to load the bar to the correct position and also the front limit position giving us the ability to maximize bar usage, minimizing our remnant. Let's not make so much weight, right? Uh, hopefully that's helped you. Thanks for watching.